All right, so I was doing some yard work and I got these little tea guys here for my irrigation system. I did not have enough of these teas to continue on. So I thought, hey, wouldn't it be cool if I could uh, 3D print some of these and I wouldn't have to drive 30 minutes to the uh, hardware store. I could wait four hours for one to print instead. So, but first I need to draw this guy. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna draw this T here for an irrigation system and 3D print it. So if you want to see how this guy turns out, uh, uh, skip to this timestamp right here and you can see how it turns out. If you wanna watch me uh, draw this thing, uh, keep watching. All right, so I got my dial calipers here and I'm just gonna measure all the parts as I go here. Uh, the 3D printer likes to print in metric. So my first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to my model info and go to the units tab and change it to metrics. So we're gonna go to the decimals and we'll draw in millimeters. All right. All right, so first I think we need to just get a basic diameter here and that is 16 millimeters. So I'm gonna grab the circle tool a radius uh, eight millimeters all right and it looks like it's 2.5 millimeters thick so we're gonna hit the offset tool 2.5 enter all right i'll delete the center portion here so we need to create these ribs and the first rib is quite a bit longer at 10 millimeters so i'm just going to p to push pull i'm going to go straight up 10 millimeters and it looks like our taper about 12 and a half millimeters so I'm just going to select the outside ring S for the scale tool and hit control so I can scale about the center click 12 millimeters enter swing this guy in here click 12 millimeters enter all right, all right, so I'm going to make that a group. M to move, and I just want to move this guy over just a little bit so I can work on it because then the next ribs are much closer together. And those guys look to be five millimeters. So I'm just going to take this surface, I'm going to select it, M to move, control to make a copy, and I'm going to use the arrow key to go straight down uh, five millimeters. I'm going to triple click to select everything, right click, intersect faces with selection. So that way now I can delete this outer ring and it's made a cut uh, spot there for me. So I can just select this and delete it. And then this is our uh, a little rib here. So let's reverse faces. All right, so I'm going to grab this guy in to move and just bring it back over here. Line it up, straight up, five millimeters. All right, and then let's count these guys. Four, so I need four more. M to move, control to make a copy. We'll go straight up, five millimeters times four. All right, so the center part looks to be 15 millimeters. I'm just going to select this, Control C to make a copy, and I have a shortcut key to paste that in place. P to push pull, and we'll go, what did I say, 15 or 14? 14. 14 millimeters. Holy smokes. Type something in wrong there. All right. All right, so I'm going to make that a group, and then I'm going to group all of this temporarily. Make group. All right, so now let's go in here. I'm going to select this inner circle, right click, find center. So now I can select this guy, make Q to rotate, and go right to my center point. Use the left arrow key to make it green. Hit control. We're going to go 90 degrees, enter, times two. All right, so now we have our basic shape but we need to merge them and get rid of this uh, chunk here. So what we're gonna do first, select these guys 
and I'm going to explode it. And then these two pieces I am going to explode as well. Select that center ring and delete it because it's just extra geometry. And this center ring on the inside, I bet I could delete that one as well. Yeah, that way we don't have any extra geometry. All right, so now I'm going to select that and make it a group. And then this guy, I'm going to explode. So now I have this piece right here that's a group. I'm going to make a copy of it just in case this doesn't work out. And I'm going to use uh, solid tools here. So I'm going to click the union button and I'm going to click this guy and then this guy. And then that should have made it one piece. Uh, you know what? They didn't delete that center portion. So let's control Z to undo that. So let's subtract. So this guy, subtract this from this. Uh, no, we need to go the other way. So we're going to subtract this from this. There we go. All right, and then see, can I delete this extra stuff here? All right, so and I could paste in place that piece that I had earlier that's sticking out there. And so what I think I want to do is I'm going to select both these guys in to move. Move it out here. And I'm going to select this piece, control C to copy. And then we'll delete this guy, we'll paste in place, P to push pull. And we'll just go straight down here like this. Actually, I just want to uh, have a full circle there. P to push pull. And here like this, we'll make this piece a group. So now we'll subtract. I remember the right order operation. No, I did it backwards. Subtract this from this. There we go. So now Let's delete that guy, M to move. We'll just bring it back here, put it right in place. All right, so it looks like we punched all the way through. So now to 3D print it, we need to explode everything and we'll make it a group again as a one single group. Uh, we have some issues here now that I made it uh, merged all that geometry. Looks like uh, we lost some faces. So we're just going to copy these guys down. All right, there we go. Got it all fixed up. So I'm going to export it as an STL. And all right, so I'm going to export it as an STL here. And print it, and I'll let you know how it worked out. All right, several hours later, and I printed it. And trying to get the supports out of this thing, I broke it. So uh there we go. That that is the lack of success uh, for today. So uh, I'm off to the hardware store to buy some more of these guys so I can get my plants watered. But uh, that was fun drawing. Thanks for following along.